Hey everyone, it's B-Bombs the Bomberman here, coming to you with a brand new tutorial on the basics and fundamentals of Linux Multimedia Studio. Now to begin, we're going to uh, just look through a few things, and I'm going to tell you two things that you need to uh, understand. Uh, SF2 files and BST files. Vestige there. So, my computer can no longer play VSC files. I don't know what happened, but they they used to slow it down, and now I can't even put anything, any of them in a song. But I think it has more to do with my computer than with the actual problem. Like anything that has to do with Linux Multimedia Studio or the VSTs themselves. So, I'm just going to give you two websites you can go to and get some good uh, SF2 files and VST files. So if you want some SF2s, you go. You can go to uh, the SoundFont site, sf2midi.com, and they have MIDI files in case you wanna, you know, I don't know, uh, pl sample them or something. I mean, you could use get some classical music MIDIs, and then uh, I don't know, rearrange them, because uh, uh, LMS can't import MIDI files, so that's what you wanna do. Now. Here's the sound fonts. So you just there's a whole bunch of SF2s you can get, and they're really useful. And here is VSK plugins, and you can get VSTs for free, free virtual instruments. In case you didn't see that there, uh, so these these are two places where I would go if I wanted a new instruments to be put in my uh, into the uh, thing, into any of my songs. Now you can drag a SF2 or VST player into your thing pretty simply. But let's say you wanted to bring in an SF2 file itself. You can't drag. It. You can listen to it. You can't drag it anywhere. Let's see. You just click, right click it, and bring it in. You either put this or this. And I'll just put another here. See, so now. Okay, now let's say you want a VST file, synth one. Now, I don't know if it'll work because, like I said before, it wasn't really working. Uh, it's probably going to slow my computer up a lot. Let's go here. Right, so it's working, but it's slowing it up. Not, I did not expect otherwise. Oh, and I lost all of my uh, all of my yeah, like field tune bank and all of that. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I guess it works again. Okay, so I just gave you the basics of that. Uh, that's to conclude this video, I would just like to remind you that uh, there are plenty of free SF2s and VST files, and I would suggest not buying any uh, anything that costs money because you can easily find a bunch of free stuff. If you want it to sound really professional, you probably should spend money, but uh, for rap music and stuff like that, you don't need to do that because rap music never sounds like like there are actually people in a room playing the instruments. Uh, most rap music sounds synthesized, and because it is synthesized. So uh, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm trying to make tutorials every week in order to keep up the number of videos I release. And also, I'm going to be making a Twitter soon. I've been postponing it for quite some time. Uh, so when I do, I'll release another tutorial, and at the end, I'll have uh, some links and stuff for people to go to if you want to hear the next news or send me requests or anything like that, and I'll have that there for you. All right? Peace.